Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike here, coming at you with a SGC reveal. I submitted six cards with uh, Mike O. Mike O, if you don't know who Mike O is, Mike O, he's got a channel on YouTube uh, where he uh, he does auctions on his channel, card auctions. He uh, he shows you his pickups, and uh, I start. I've been following Mike O for a long time. Great guy, Mike O. I met him at the uh, for the first time last year at the National. Very nice gentleman. And uh, good guy. I've been submitting with him for like three years now. So uh, so I submitted these cards uh, to SGC via Mike O. And uh, here are the results. So the first one's coming back. This is a 1970 uh, Kellogg's uh, Cornflakes Don Maynard card. I believe I... Picked this up a long time ago at a flea market or something. But uh, I remember opening up Cheerios packs, but usually I used to stick with baseball. So I saw this at a flea market. It was, I think, 25 cents, 50 cents. And I saw it, and it's really got a nice look to it. The only bad thing about it is you can see by his left cheekbone, they had like a sticker. They placed a sticker right on the card, and it looks like there's a slight crack there. Can't really make it out. It's not focusing well, but yeah. So this card received a three. 1970 Kellogg's Dawn Main, it received a three. There's some discoloring, discoloration going on. and um, But the corners were sharp. And like I said, it's very eye appealing. That's why I picked it up for the PC. Uh, you pick these up for a quarter or 50 cents. You know, he's a Hall of Famer. And, uh, of course, I would have preferred maybe a 5 or a 6, but I'll take a 3. It's for the PC. And I'm very happy with the return of this Don Maynard 1970 Kellogg's card. He's a Hall of Famer. He recently just passed away. He lived in New Mexico. And uh, he was up there in age. But he was Joe Namer's go-to guy as a wide receiver. So, happy with that. I'll take that. And this next card is a Topps football card of the great O.J. Simpson. It is an insert card. As you can see, the back looks very nice. No gum stains. Maybe a little off there on the centering. But a uh, very nice card. You'll see it right here. You see the color, man. The color looks good on the card. Very vibrant. They're playing the Jets there. So that was at Shea Stadium. So uh, there it is. It's a 1976 Tops OJ Simpson record breaker card. Uh, he was a great football player. Now, as a person, not so much, but as far as football, he's one of the best. He's a Hall of Famer. But uh, we all know what went down with OJ in 1994. But uh, as far as his football career went, he was one of the greatest. So I submitted this card. As Like I said, the color looked beautiful. And uh, as you can see, it's a little off-center there, left to right, top to bottom, off-center all the way around. But the NFL did not have an agreement with the Players Association, so they couldn't make the, la the logos. But still a sweet-looking card, 1976. And this card received a 6. So... I'm happy with that. I believe this was also a flea market pickup back in the days, a few years ago. I don't remember. This is part of, I brought a, a whole bunch of cards. So it was part of a, a, a handful of cards that I picked up. But whatever, man, a six is good for a, a card from 1976. My next pickup is a... Uh, my next grade is a coming back from a 1993 Derek Jeter. So this was a 1992 draft pick card. It's the iconic card where he's in the middle of a diamond and he's throwing the ball. So there it is, 1993 tops Derek Jeter. It looks really sharp. I've submitted three of these so far, one to PSA, and this is my second sub to SGC. And uh, SGC, man, they grade these vintage cards hard. But uh, I'm happy with the grade it received. It received a mint nine. So 
So now I have three mint nine Derek Jeter rookie cards. So I'm happy with it. Looks good. Great eye appeal. Next one is a F1 card. It's uh, Hamilton and Verstappen. I picked this up on eBay. It was very cheap. And I know these guys are hot in the F1. I'm not really a big, huge F1 fan. As a matter of fact, I've never even watched the F1 race. But I know these guys are hot, so I picked it up off of eBay. Tops now, that is cheap. It was like two bucks plus shipping. I think it came out to three. With tax and shipping. So it's a 2021 Tops F1 of Hamilton and Verstappen. There's Hamilton. And that's Verstappen. And this card received a boom, 9.5. I will take that all day, every day. Of course. Wish it would have been a 10, but they can't all be 10s. And this next card is a uh, it's a sticker, Panini sticker. And this goes inside a sticker book. And it is a card of LaMelo Ball. Pick this up. And uh, it's a 2021 20, Panini sticker and card of the rookie LaMelo Ball. So nice looking card. And this card received a... Bam, a 10. I'll take it. So, very nice. The mellow ball sticker card. And last but not least, I pulled this out of a pack two years ago. It's a Joey B card and a rookie card. And I like the card. I like the way it looks. It's got like a black and white effect look to it. But the, the Bengals helmet has color on it. So, pretty cool card. It's the rookie symbol right there. So this is a 2020 Panini Chronicles Luminance card, rookie card. And this one pulled a bang, 10. So all in all, I'm very happy with this uh, submission. Uh, SGC is, uh, their turnaround is great. This took about three and a half weeks. They're $25 per card, but they come back quickly uh, as opposed to PSA and Beckett. Ooh, uh, they're taking forever, but uh, that's the main appeal of SC SGC. They're returning cards so quick, and the industry, the hobby, the hobby, the guys in the hobby, they're all submitting to SGC, and SGC cards are selling well. So uh, they're they're quickly catching up to PSA. I know you got PSA fanboys, and you know oh, they'll never compare to SGC. Who cares, man? I'm getting my cards back quick. And they're comparable to maybe, what, $20, $50 range, less than PSA. But, you know, everybody, you know, they have their preference. SGC's been around, what, 22 years now? And uh, they're always hard on vintage cards. So I think they're fairly they're a fair company when it comes to grading older cards. So I'll go with SCG because uh, SGC, I keep calling it SCG, SGC because of the quick turnaround. So uh works for me. I'm happy. But what it comes down to is you have to be happy with who you submit. And the price is right, $25. I've seen another guy, I think Boca. Boca is $24. So I've had a long relationship with Mike. Three years I've been subbing with him, three or four years. So I trust Mike. Never had any problems with Mike O. And uh, so $25 a card to me, pretty good compared to, I think, PSA is 48 for bulk submissions. So uh, very happy with how my submission turned out. Six cards, two tens, a 195, a nine, a six, and a three. So very happy. And I'm happy you guys tuned in and checked out my video. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. I love making these videos. And leave a comment. Love uh, reading what you have to say, whether it's pro or negative, whether you hate SGC or love SGC or you love PSA, whatever. Who cares, man? As long as you're happy, that's what counts. So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. I haven't received many TTMs recently. I think the last TTM return I received was Tuesday. So uh, hopefully I get something next week. I've got a lot of them out there. Just waiting for them to come back. So uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Today is Saturday, so I hope you, the rest of your weekend is a good one. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Something ends up 
in my mailbox. Take care. God bless. Peace.